Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So, another package. This one is all the way from Australia from Just Turnings. And there is a bit of a story to these. There's, I'm gonna say two pens here. And you also see something different in here. Let's just get started. So in my package, you have uh, Steven's business card here, and he's just turnings on Facebook as well as Instagram. And there's two here because there's two pens. Ooh. The first one I'm gonna show you, firstly, actually, he sent along a sample as well of Pilot Orochizuku Ama Eero. This is a really lovely blue. I'm gonna show you this first one, and then I'm gonna show you this one. So let's move this to the side. And this first one from Steven was um, really a, an impulse purchase. And this was not something I expected to buy because I already had something similar. And I thought that the material for this particular pen was just gone, no longer being produced. And I woke up one morning, opened my Instagram first thing and saw this on Steven's Instagram. So it comes in a black box like this. And then I love that there is a little pen sleeve kimono that comes with it. That's such a nice little personal touch. Like I love that. Look at that. Is that cherries florals? It's florals. And then, oh, I'm so excited. And then you open it up. Oh, it is a pastel primary manipulation. Oh gosh, I have no words for this. I had, and I, it is past tense, had a uh, pastel primary manipulation. This, uh, that one I bought off of Reddit and it was originally produced by Little Pen Designs. And while I loved it, it wasn't necessarily the exact pattern of the pastel primary manipulation that I wanted. Oh my gosh, there goes the bell. And to continue, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, but basically I had a pastel primary manipulation from Little Pen Designs that I bought off Reddit. And there was always just a little something about it that wasn't a 10 out of 10 for me. And then when I saw this, the mixture of the colors and the white and the swirls and the transparency and the chatoyance it's the perfect perfect combination of the pastel primary manipulation for me and the thing is that particular blank and resin from uh, Jonathan Brooks of Carolina Pen Company. There are so many variations of it that one pastel primary manipulation will not look the same as any other, but I really like this combination. For me, it's the right combination of the blues and the pinks and the purples and the greens and even the orange and yellow. It's just the perfect combination for me. So the model is, after that long, <laughs> long-winded explanation, the model for this is, let me find the card. This is the Encelados model. And again, it's a Brooks Blanks Pastel Primary Manipulation. And it comes with a Yovo number no. six steel nib. And this is a gold plated, extra fine Yovo nib. And it comes with the standard international converter which I'm really glad that these pens do, but I'm just so happy with the design of this and even how the pen feels in my hand. Absolutely wonderful. And ooh, the nails actually look really well. Does it post? No, it does not. But that for me is not a deal breaker. And I'm going to do the pen test. So how many turns does it take? One, just a little over two. For me, that's not a huge deal, but I know there's some people who are concerned about that. So that is mm, the Pastel Primary Manipulation by Carolina Pen Company and Just Turnings. So I'm going to ink this up later and compare it with my other pens, but on to the next 
The next one is another Encelados model, and it is a material from Turnpent Co. called Joyful Kismet. You will not find this on his website because this is actually one that I thought of the colors for this myself, and Tim of Turnpent Co. helped me come up with this blank and I absolutely really love it. You guys know how I love my dusty pinks. I also love green and a little bit of yellow or gold. I'm going to show you what the blank looks like and then I'm going to show you what the pen looks like. So this is the blank. So you can see the dusty pink, a little bit of the shimmery white, the green, and the gold. And I'm so glad that Tim sent this along because if I wanted to I can definitely get this turned into another pen. And Tim was just so great to work with. He, um, I would love to have a field trip in his <laughs> workshop because to see all of the colors of the resins that he could mix together was just amazing. And like, I love the mix of colors here, but you never know what pen you're going to get just by looking at the outside of the, the blank. So I'm now going to show you uh, what the pen actually looks like and I chose Stephen of Just Turnings to do it because there was something I wanted in particular but also his time to get the pen turned and sent to me was actually very quick. So the name of the blank is Joyful Kismet or actually it was supposed to be Swirly Joyful Kismet which um, are actually my initials backwards. So my initials are KJSK really um, but it's SJK Joyful Kismet and I Think it's absolutely beautiful so let's just put the blank there for reference and I have two boxes here so the first box is the actual pen itself again with the really cute uh, kimono sleeve and this is what the pen looks like I'm gonna use that out of the way oh my gosh and it looks so beautiful, all polished like that. And the reason that I had Stephen of Just Turning do this is because he adds the clip and then there's the gold band there and the finial and then there's the gold band there at the bottom. And it is the same model as the pastel primer manipulation pen. The only difference being is that there is the gold band, the clip and then the gold band there. And the clip is actually pretty functional. It's a good clip. It's not too stiff. And I, I really like the gold detailing with this pen. I feel like this blank in particular really needed that gold detailing and that gold clip. But just look, look at that. Tim of Turned Pen Co. did an amazing job of swirling these together. Beautiful. And then Steven did a great job of turning this pen. So this particular pen comes again with a gold plated number 60 oval steel nib and this time it is a fine. And it also comes with the standard international converter. But then again, the way this one in particular, I don't think you can eyedropper. The other one you can. I don't think you can eyedropper because of this. Um, or the, the gold band, but I wouldn't eyedropper these anyway. And then in terms of how many turns it takes to take off, you get one, two, yeah, just a little under two turns to get that off the pen. One more thing I want to show you about this particular pen, and one of the reasons why I asked Stephen to do this for me is because... What do you want? You're like, what the heck is this? I'm going to show you really quickly what these things are for. And ta-da, it's like a whole new pen. So I uh, saw a few posts on Just Turning's Instagram where I had seen somebody do something similar with a pastel primary manipulation. So I spoke with Steven and asked him what he thought would be the best 
interchangeable finials and he was like do you want white or off-white or do you want yellow or pink and I actually chose the white because I think it helps to bring out the white in the resin and I just think that looks so cool that you could have the option of having it all as the one blank or having it as the white what do you think what is your preference do you like the white or do you like all of the same you know i love that i have that option though depending on what i feel like so it truly is a custom pen for me from the blank itself to the way that the pen was designed with the custom finials and i, I mean i have to say that you know there isn't going to be another pen out there that looks exactly like this to these specifications so i'm just i am so thankful to tim of turn pen co for helping me come up with this beautiful blank um but also to steven of just turnings for turning this beautiful beautiful pen so now let's go ahead and compare it to other pens in my collection so here is the Enceladus model in the pastel primary manipulation. And then here is the swirly joyful kismet. You can tell there's, you know, a slight difference in the length, but overall the width and everything else is pretty much the same. Oh my gosh, I can't stop looking at them both. Okay, so let's compare it to an Estabrook SD. And again, in terms of length, the SD is just a slightly bit longer, but the body of the Pastel Primer Manipulation and the Joyful Kismet look actually a little bit wider than the SD. And then I'm gonna pull out my Pelican M605, which is definitely shorter. And also it looks like it is narrower just by a hair than these two. Then comparing it to, let's move this just one over comparing it to the sailor pro gear slim you can see how much bigger that is and then comparing it as well to a pilot kakuno you can see how much longer that is as well and then one more to compare it to i am going to compare it to the platinum 3776 so you can see that actually i do want to compare it to the where is it the abalone in the Virgo model from Zodiac Pen Co. So if actually I move this here, you can see that it is shorter than the model from Just Turnings, but in terms of the body size, it's actually, this one looks like it's a little bit wider uh, in its body. So let's go ahead and look at all of these uncapped. So there are all of the pens uncapped and you can actually tell that the longest pen is now the one from Just Turning. So the body of the Estabrook SD is actually shorter, but the grip section of the Just Turning's pens are pretty similar to in length to the uh, grip section of the Estabrook SD. And the one from Zodiac Penco in the Virgo model is actually longer. It looks like the one from Zodiac Penco is a little bit narrower as well, but these three pens all have kind of a what is that, like a concave shape in the grip section, whereas the SD and even the Sailor Pro Gear Slim and the Pelican M605 are all straight. And look at all of those beautiful Yovo number no. six nibs. This is one of the reasons why I love these custom turn pens is because now I have a lovely selection of fine and extra fine uh, Yovo number no. six steel nibs that I will be getting ground to you know i have some in a fine cursive smooth italic like i do in my water lily koi beautiful and then you know i have architect so there is that um, flexibility in being able to grind the pens but also switch them around depending on what i feel like oh i'm just i'm so so happy all right so let's go ahead and weigh these so the Enceladus model without the clip is, if it doesn't roll away, 21 grams. <laughs> and then without the cap, it is 15 grams. So the cap itself is six grams. Now the model with the clip is 24 grams. And then I'm assuming the body is gonna be 16 grams and then 10 grams for the cap, wow. So there is a difference when you're adding the, the clip to that model. 
So the first writing sample I'm going to be doing is with the pastel primary manipulation and I have this inked up with Diamine Celadon Cat. So this is the, oh, 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 why is it doing that? Do I need to prime the nib? I should have to. Maybe I had just dried it off a bit too much when I had inked it up. So here we go. Oh, what is going on? There we go. Okay. So just turnings in the pastel primary manipulation. And this has the extra fine Yovo nib. So let's see, this is the, where is it? The Enceladus model. In the pastel primary manipulation. And it has the Yovo number six steel extra fine nib. And it is currently inked with Diamine Celadon Cat. And so far, your typical extra fine Yovo nib there is a bit of feedback to it, but not too bad. And good wet flow and reverse writing. Not really, but I wouldn't reverse write with this anyway. Is there a little bit of flex? No. I mean, you can, but I wouldn't push it. Beautiful. So that is the Just Turnings Pastel Primary Manipulation inked with Celadon Cat. The next writing sample is for the Swirly Joyful Kismet. It's my own custom. Ooh. All right, so. Ooh, just turnings. With Swirly Joyful Kismet. Ah. So this is an, where is it? The Enceladus model again. Thus, with the Turn Pent Co. Swirly Joyful Kismet, which is a custom pour. And it has a Yovo number six steel fine nib and gosh that is smooth and it is inked with dominant industry autumn forest and I thought whoops if I can spell autumn <laughs> get too excited I thought this was a great match because you've got the green and you've got the pink shimmer it's so smooth and then good wet flow, which I like. Now, is there a reverse writing with this? Eh, I, I don't recommend it. And then is there a little bit of flex to it? Again, not really. I don't recommend pushing that any further than that. But, oh, so, so good. And I think that is the perfect matching ink. Oh, I love a good Yovo number no. six nib because it is definitely reliable and actually a lot of these if not all of these small pen makers actually do their own they don't do their own nibs but they actually make sure that they are tuned and smooth properly so that they will go for each and every nib to make sure that it is perfect for you and these are fantastic so there are my two new pens this one i purchased in june 
and it came in July. And then this one, I had been talking to Tim and Stephen about this since I believe May or June. So this one was a, a while coming and I am so happy with both of this. This one was the spontaneous purchase and then this one was the one that was, you know, a little bit of time in the making, but definitely worth while. I am so happy with both. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Once again, these are Stephen's details from Just Turning. So let's, there we go. And you can find him on Instagram and on Facebook. And I am so happy with his work. And to be shipped from Australia to Canada literally took just a little over a week, not even. And um, Stephen actually hadn't sent the original finials with this. So he sent it and it came literally a week after the pen, uh, the original pen arrived. So very, very quick for shipping to Canada. All right. Thank you guys again so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.